Mula nakshatra falls in the sign of Sagittarius. This is after Gandanta, where water nakshatra, water sign ends and the fire sign starts. Okay. And this is a very destructive kind of nakshatra, very intense nakshatra. Uh, the deity of this nakshatra is Niriti, the goddess of destruction. And uh, goddess Kali can also be associated with it. And this is a very straightforward direct nakshatra. And it is about cutting off the unnecessary things. This is a research oriented nakshatra. Mula means roots. The symbol of this nakshatra is tied bunch of roots. This nakshatra is about investigation. It is a uh, demonic Rakshas Gan nakshatra and a Tamsik nakshatra. Okay. So when you have a Darakar or 7th Lord here, it first shows a spouse will help you in your spiritual awakening. Right. You may have carried forward some pain, some hurts from the past, some karmas from the past and a partner will help you to clear th that. Okay. You will have a very deep relationship with your partner, very deep, intense relationship because Moola is roots, right? It goes deep within the roots. Your relationship is going to be very different from others. You will experience uh, the very different relationships right you may have gone through some heartbreaks or uh, relationship issues in the past but definitely you can get true love this nakshatra gives you material prosperity so partner is going to be rich and wealthy and you will get gains from your partner and your desire will be fulfilled you never like unnecessary people in your life you are very clear about the kind of people you want to have in your life if you think this person is not good for me you will not keep that person in your life okay your partner is also going to be very straightforward and direct and truthful and very good at investigation and research will be a pure-hearted person and a very sensitive person where little little things can hurt your partner Apart from that, your partner will be interested in uh, astrology or occult mysticism or different realms, okay? Your partner will also be of very sensitive nature and little little things may worry your partner. Stubborn nature also like whatever your partner will decide will stick to it and will not want to deviate from that path, okay? Whatever your partner will believe will want to do it at any cost, okay? very very ambitious partner uh, you will have and will have thick lips can have tall height and can be impulsive as well okay now here it's very important to have right guidance if you have strong jupiter in your chart it is very good because jupiter will give guidance to uh, moola right so Mula is a very intense nakshatra and definitely it will give you intense relationships right and a very deep relationship you will have because it is ruled by ketu your partner is going to be spiritual as well but sometimes your partner may make wrong decisions because of the wrong guidance because ketu is the tail right it's not the head so sometimes ketu is not able to make right decisions so that's why a partner is going to be a very simple person and believe, believe in simplicity will not like to show off of any kind simple person clear cut person trustworthy person okay and uh, because it is ruled by ketu which is a past life uh, planet so you will have the past life connection with your partner a deep connection with your partner and this is 100 percent sure because this is moolah it is very intense so someone who is entering in your life you will have some sort of deep pending karma with that person now here pending karma does not mean bad karma it means that something of the past is pending okay any desire it can be anything it can be right like this even desire to marry the intense desire to marry each other is pending from the past life okay so this can also be the uh, situation okay and uh, your partner uh, can be in the research field okay your partner can be in law field education professor field or uh, may have to uh, work at night irregular hours of work okay can also be a priest or can be in occult mysticism or prayer religion right uh, that sort of thing your partner can also be in politics tantra occult okay 
coal petroleum industry all the sorts of investigation industry and herbs and ayurveda your partner can be into medicine as well dealing with poisons pharmacy pharmaceutical industry doctor healer all that sorts of things your partner can be dentist or partner can be detective police officer right so these are some fields in which your partner can be right as this is a tamasic nakshatra it shows a deep rooted desire now if you want to get good results of your marriage you need to let go your ego your anger your arrogance and little bit you have to start thinking from your heart little bit you have to make yourself calm and you have to let go your ego and you have to become pure and kind right because if you have ego this nakshatra is about ego and if you have ego okay like in relationships if you are not ready to compromise or something like that when you should compromise okay you should not always compromise but sometimes when you have to and you are not doing it then it's not good for relationship so that i am saying that uh, you should little bit compromise for the relationship okay you can meet your partner in a mysterious place it's very possible very much possible that you meet your partner in a mysterious place or uh, in any educational institute in any temple or there is any religious place near that okay at night you can meet your partner during traveling you can meet your partner okay so these are the places where you can meet your partner right so uh, we have to see other placements as well how other uh, planetary positions are there in your chart now why you have got your seventh lord of dara or dara karka in mula nakshatra because uh, you have to go through spir uh, spiritual awakening right uh, see mula is a nakshatra where spiritual awakening takes place and your soul uh, is a old soul right is an old soul so you have to learn many things and clear many a uh, karmas because it's possible that this is your last life and you will not incarnate again so you you incarnated to clear all your pending karmas and all the nakshatras of ketu are very prominent to clear all the karmas very instantly okay in one life only ketu ketu's nakshatra they clear many many karmas and the souls who want to clear their uh, many pending karmas many uh, sanchit karmas in one life only the souls who are eager to uh, take moksha or they don't want to incarnate they will always choose ketu's nakshatra so that's why you have got ketu's nakshatra so that you can clear your karmas many karmas in this life and get moksha okay so now there are four padas aries taurus gemini and cancer so the aries pada shows here that your partner will be impulsive will be a self made person will be self dependent person and can little bit have ego and selfishness also but a self made person he will be and impulsive and passionate always want to try different things and never at rest always want to keep doing something always want to be busy into something but uh, yes very passionate person for you uh, will want to do the things for you will want want to be the best partner for you will want to put efforts for you will not want to give up for you and uh, same way you will want a relationship where there is too much energy where there is passion where there is desire to be with each other okay you will not like boring relationships okay the second pada is uh, in the taurus navamsha where partner a partner can be two words materialistic side where because mula is the materialistic nakshatra so here in taurus your partner will be towards materialistic side like material fulfillment is important family is important these things will be there in your partner okay will give importance to family will be a practical person grounded person will want all things to be uh, systematic in life right very creative your partner will be will uh, research into the creative side okay will uh, will be best in the creative side because mula nakshatra means best right so your partner will be best into the creative side right anything creative they can do okay so it makes your partner stubborn and uh, 
gives a natural creativity to your partner okay the third pada falls in the gemini navamsha where your partner is going to be very childish and uh, will be highly intellectual will be very much communicative can be in any communicative field okay any uh, profession that requires communication your partner can be in that field okay your partner can also be very much spiritual and intelligent and will always want to do the things for you but your partner can always be confused between two things or can always do different different things at one time or can be very much impulsive and restless okay not able to focus on one thing at a time if it is in the cancer brother your partner is going to be very very emotional person and uh, will be very much motherly very much caring towards you but uh, can feel hurt when emotions are not returned when your partner's emotions are not returned the way they invest their emotions in you they will definitely take it to their heart okay because little things can depress them so you have to be careful while dealing with the person uh, you love right and this trait can be in you as well that when your emotions are not returned you really are not able to digest it you are not able to tolerate it okay so you want that if i'm investing my emotions i should get it back okay so if you are doing it you should invest your emotions you will definitely get it back because the law of universe is whatever we give we get it back and just like if you are investing your money into something you are definitely going to get interest right so the law of universe is also very clear that whatever you invest you will get it with return and this law is very clear right if you do bad karmas when bad karmas can come back good karmas always come back so just do it okay and don't worry things will work out in your favor okay so i hope this video was helpful may god bless you may god fulfill all your wishes and desires bye